the tech industry is changing faster than ever. New tools, new roles and new opportunities are popping up every year. With so many choices, it's easy to feel lost. Which skills you should learn? Which roles will be in demand in the next 2-3 years? And most importantly, how do you plan your career so you're not just keeping up but staying ahead? In this video, we're going to break down the tech career roadmap for the next few years. Let's start off with looking at the big picture, where the demand is going to be in India's tech industry in 2025. According to Gartner, IT spending in India is projected to grow by more than 11% to reach a massive $161.5 billion. Breaking it down, data center systems are expected to see steady growth, but devices to have the largest jumps from $49 billion to over $63 billion. And the software is the real star here, growing at a 17% in 2025. So whether it's hardware, software or services, every segment of IT is expanding. And that means more opportunities for tech professionals. Now let's zoom in on one of the fastest growing areas in tech, artificial intelligence. India's AI spending is projected to hit a $10.4 billion by 2028, growing at an incredible 38% every year. But what's driving this growth? Two main things, enterprise automation and agentic AI use cases. Moving on, some core tech domains. So with all this growth in the tech industry, where exactly should you focus your skills? Here are the six core domains that will define your tech career in the coming years. AIML is all about building and evaluating models, working on LLMs and understanding how AI systems work. Data science and analytics is about turning raw data into insights, experiments and storytelling with data that drive decision making. Software engineering is about creating apps, APIs and product features. Next is IT cloud and infrastructure. It's about architecture, ensuring security and scaling systems. DevOps SRE is all about automating deployments, CI/CD, and ensuring reliability. Data engineering and MLOps is about building data pipelines, managing data lakes, and serving. The idea here is simple. Pick one of these domains as your primary focus, master it, and then build supporting skills from the others. Now let's move towards breaking down the different software roles, what are the skills you would need and what are the salary expectations. First is a full stack developer, responsible for building end-to-end -end features from the front-end interface to back-end logic and APIs. To succeed here, you'll need skills like JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Next.js, Node.js, SQL, Git and Docker. And on the salary front, you can expect anywhere from 8 to 22 lakhs in your initial years moving on towards 22 to 40 lakhs as you grow with experience. A backend engineer, on the other hand, focuses on designing reliable services, managing databases, queues and integration. Here are the skills required to be a backend engineer. Java, Python, Go, Spring Boot, PostgreSQL, Redis, Kafka, and Kubernetes. And on the salary front, you can expect anything from 10 to 26 lakhs in the first two to six years, moving on towards the 26 to 45 lakhs in the next six to 10 years of experience. Next is data roles. Now let's move into the world of data, where two roles dominate, data engineer and data scientist. A data engineer builds the foundation, creating pipelines, structuring data models, and managing warehouses or lakes to ensure the business has reliable, accessible data. The key skills required here is SQL, Apache Spark, Airflow, DBT, Kafka, Snowflake, or BigQuery. The salaries range from 10 to 26 lakhs in the initial years of experience, moving on towards 26 to 45 lakhs as your skills grow. A data scientist works on the other hand, modeling business problems, running experiments, and extracting insights. You'll need skills like Python, Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-learn, SQL, Matplotlib, Plotly, and also AI tools as becoming a part of your workflow. Here, the salaries range from 9 to 24 lakhs for the initial two to six years, moving towards 24 to 42 lakhs for the next six to 10 years. Next, we'll move towards AIML space. The first role is a data engineer. Data engineer builds the backbone pipelines, data models, and secure warehouses or lakes that store and organize massive data sets. The key tools required here are SQL, Apache Spark, Airflow, DBT, Kafka, Snowflake, or BigQuery. The average salaries here can range from 10 to 26 lakhs for the first two to six years, with 26 to 45 lakhs in the next six to 10 years. 
On the other side, an LLM engineer focuses on making AI models work for real-world problems. They model business challenges, run experiments, and explain insights generated by LLMs. The core skills included here are Python, Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-learn, SQL, Matplotlib, Plotly, and a few AI tools. Here, the salaries can range from 9 to 24 lakhs in the initial years, moving on towards 24 to 42 lakhs as your experience grows. A few other AI roles are Applied Scientist. It's about advanced modeling, experimentation, casual methods, and research to production transfer. The skills required here are Python, PyTorch, Transformers, XGBoot, casual inference websites, weights, and biases. An average salary expectation in these roles could be somewhere around 16 to 38 lakhs for the initial 3 to 7 years, moving on towards 38 to 70 lakhs with 7 to 12 years of experience. Next is an AI product manager. They map use cases to capabilities, define metrics, and manage risk and evaluation loops. The skills required here are product discovery, SQL basics, experimentation, analytics, and model evaluation frameworks. The salary ranges can be anything from 18 to 40 lakhs and moving towards 40 to 65 lakhs as your experience grows. To conclude, whether you're deep into coding and model building, ensuring smooth deployment or driving product strategy, the demand for skilled professionals is going to keep growing. Find the role that matches your strengths, start building those in-demand skills and keep evolving. And if you're looking to build a career in AI, check out this free masterclass taken by the head of AI at Scalar. The link is in description. Go ahead and register. If you like this video, then let us know what roadmap you'd like us to break down next and keep following Scalar.